We're going to turn now to what's expected to be a brutal allergy season. Perhaps you're already suffering after a long winter. It turns out so much is budding at once. It's creating what some are now calling the pollen vortex. ABC's Dr. Jennifer Ashton with new ways to fight it tonight. Wicked winter is over. Now, sinister spring. <laughs> Sneezing and wheezing, coughing and watery eyes. It's hit fast and hard, and this season might be one of the worst ever for allergies. It's been pretty bad already, so I'm definitely not looking forward to the spring and summer ahead. It's gonna be a rough one. When a brutal winter lasts so long, once the warm temps arrive, everything blooms at once, sending more allergens into the air. A perfect storm of misery. Uh, I feel very stuffed up. I feel uh, like hazy, eyes watery, sore throat. It's a horrible feeling. Tree pollen counts are soaring this weekend, but look at the more extreme levels. Orange and red in Texas and to the east, South Carolina up to Virginia. Here are some basics that might help. Simple saline nasal spray. Keep your home and car windows closed. That reduces the amount of pollen coming in. And remember to shower before bed to rinse the pollen out of your hair. And Dr. Jennifer Ashton with us now. Great advice on the shower. Get it out of your hair before it hits the pillow. But this pollen vortex, the real deal after such a long winter? Oh, absolutely. Long winter, short spring, everything is hitting at once. And when it hits, most people turn to the antihistamines, but now many doctors are talking about a multi-layered approach. Right, antihistamines are great, but we have other tools in our arsenal. New kit on the block this year, prescription medication known as Oralair. It's immune therapy, works almost like a vaccine against pollen. Then there's the medication Montelukast, sold under the brand name Singular, also reduces inflammation, very effective. And then finally, steroid sprays, they cut inflammation, now they're available over the counter. The key, David, is if you suffer from allergies and you're on one, ask your doctor about adding multiple attacks. Multi-pronged attack Absolutely. on this thing. And you said something in the newsroom earlier, if you're not feeling the symptoms yet, perhaps you should jump on this now to get ahead of it. Right, that's really the key. If you're like you and me, you know you're gonna get allergies, but you haven't had your first sniffle, start now, some of these medications take weeks or months to take effect. All right, Dr. Jen with some great advice tonight. Thank you.